FD2 headers feature a new hydraulic system for improved performance in today's high volume crops. The float module frame acts as an oil reservoir and the system contains approximately 95 liters of trans hydraulic oil. Check the oil level every 25 hours when the oil is cold, with the cutter bar on the ground, and the center link fully retracted. Oil level is checked using the sight glasses located on the top of the float module. For normal terrain, maintain the level so the lower sight glass is full and the upper sight glass is empty. For hilly terrain, maintain the level so the lower sight glass is full and the upper sight glass is up to one half filled. The oil filler is located on top of the reservoir. The cap is also the reservoir vent. Wipe off any accumulated debris to prevent overpressurizing the reservoir. This header is equipped with the optional hydraulic reservoir fill extension kit. The hydraulic system has an oil filter that should be changed after the first 50 hours of operation and then every 250 hours or yearly. It is critical to change this filter at the recommended service intervals. If the filter plugs, the oil will bypass, allowing unfiltered, dirty oil to spread throughout the system. The hydraulic oil in the reservoir should be changed every three years or 1,000 hours. There are drain plugs located at the back of the float module on each side of the frame. Place a suitably sized container under each of the two oil drain plugs. The hydraulic reservoir contains approximately 95 liters of single grade trans hydraulic oil. See your operator's manual for oil recommendations and specifications. On the left side of the FM200 float module, we have two gearboxes. The drive from the combine comes into our gearboxes, which in turn drives our hydraulic systems for our knife, side drapers, feed draper, as well as mechanically driving our feed auger. An internal clutch provides slip protection for the feed auger. The first gearbox is the header drive completion gearbox. This gearbox is configured specifically for each bottle of combine and fine tunes the header speeds for maximum efficiency. It can be replaced during header conversion to operate with another brand of combine. The gearbox is an oil bath design with a fill, check, and drain plug. Check the oil level every 100 hours. Change this oil after the first 50 hours of operation in every 1,000 hours or three years thereafter. It contains approximately 2.25 liters of 85W140 gear oil. This is a chain driven gearbox. Chain tension should be checked after the first 50 hours of operation, then every 500 hours or annually thereafter. Chain tension is adjusted by rotating the chain tension hub. Please see the operator's manual for tensioning procedure. The second gearbox is the header drive main gearbox. This gearbox is also an oil bath design with a fill, check, and drain plugs. Check the oil level every 100 hours with the cutter bar on the ground. Change this oil after the first 50 hours of operation and every 1,000 hours or three years thereafter. It contains approximately 2.75 liters of 85W140 gear oil. This gearbox is gear and chain driven. The chain tension should be checked after the first 50 hours of operation, then every 500 hours or annually thereafter. Remove the four bolts, cover, and gasket from the main gearbox. Remove the retainer plate. Tighten the bolt to 136 newton centimeters. Back off the bolt four to five flats. If required, turn bolt slightly until retainer plate can be installed. Reinstall the chain adjusting cover and gasket. Install four bolts and torque hardware to 9.5 newton meters. The hydraulic pump assembly is driven by the header drive main gearbox. The hydraulic pump assembly combines a triple pump stack and a valve block into a single unit. The assembly is in five sectors. The first sector, closest to the gearbox, is a pump that is pressure compensated and flow adjustable that drives the knife. The knife speed of the header should be checked at pre-delivery inspection and should not require further adjustment. The next two sectors are valve blocks that contain cartridges for controlling and reversing the hydraulic circuits. The fourth sector contains the side draper pump, which is both pressure and flow compensated and is also the oil filter location. The speed of the side drapers is controlled from the cab and can be adjusted on the go as required. A smooth steady flow of crop along the side drapers 
that merges evenly into the center draper produces a heads first or herringbone swath into the combine. This provides a more consistent delivery to the combine for optimal threshing. Experiment with varying draper speeds to get optimal performance. The fifth sector contains the gear pump which drives the feed draper and forward operation and both the feed draper and knife in reverse. The gear pump has a relief valve for forward and reverse. All hydraulic circuits are combined and the oil is filtered before returning to the tank. This means no cross-contamination between circuits if a failure occurs.